This week's affirmation is, I choose to not be offended when someone disagrees with me. And this process of choosing to not be offended and letting go of those feelings of offense is not an easy process. It requires vulnerability and vulnerability is hard. <laughs> It requires you to look within yourself and see something that you may not want to see. But there is beauty in vulnerability. Surfacing our vulnerability helps us to then learn and grow. It helps us to find the ways that we can change to then reach our divine pen potential in which we seek. When it comes to our relations with others, our vulnerability allows us to open up the invitation to create a safe place, to understand each other, and to see each other with the mutual love and respect, to even see each other as children of God. When we allow ourselves to be offended, then we start putting up walls we start keeping each, each other out. We, we keep others out and we also keep ourselves out because we don't want to look in behind that wall. So we are stopping ourselves from understanding ourselves even more. We stop learning about ourselves. We stop learning about others. We then stop connecting and we feel alone. And also, though perhaps unconsciously, we have a feeling of shame about ourselves. And so, in turn, we stop embracing that divine identity, our true identity. So, allowing ourselves to let go of these offenses and to, in turn, desire and seek to understand others and to understand ourselves. That is how we're able to create places of safety to talk about difficult things and to love and connect with one another. So join me tomorrow as we dive more into the three steps that we can take to overcome these feelings of offense and be able to break down the walls that we have so that we can then turn to others and reach out with strength and energy and love to be able to create those safe places to talk about difficult things.